Okay, Packers just found some defensive potential with their latest signing. I'm going to break that down for you guys in this video. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like the content, please take a second to hit that subscribe button. Let's jump into it. Who did the Packers bring in? Well, I typically don't do a video and a breakdown on every practice squad signing, but this is one of those signings that I get super excited about. Chris Brooks was another one of those guys that I did a video on. I knew he was going to become active at some point in time. Jamin Davis is another one that I feel is going to contribute to the Packers throughout the season. At some point in time, you're going to be seeing this guy active. I feel strongly about that. It says right here, six foot three, 234 pound Davis made 269 tackles over his first three seasons, including seven sacks, 14 tackles for loss. He played in 13 games last season before suffering a shoulder injury, which landed him a spot on the IR. So why do I get so excited about Jamin Davis? Well, this dude was a former first round selection. He was selected 19th overall by the commanders. He was selected in the first round for a reason because the athleticism is there. Now I'm not saying he wasn't put in the right scenario in Washington. I know that had they have kind of changed regimes there defensively. He was playing linebacker. They moved him to defensive end, which where he didn't find the success there. Hence why the commanders moved on from him. They didn't pick up his fifth year option. All of that combined. That's why they moved on from him. He had a very successful sophomore season with the commanders. He led the team with 104 tackles. You, you know, the potential is there for that guy. And I think the Packers will be able to use, utilize his services at the linebacker position. I could see him, playing alongside um, um, Eric Wilson. You can't take that guy. I, Eric Wilson has been coming on so strong for the Packers at the linebacker position with the absence of Quay Walker. And then you've got Edron Cooper, who is just an animal. He's the best linebacker in Green Bay. He needs to be playing middle linebacker. Maybe Quay Walker needs to move to outside. But when we start talking about Quay Walker, his scores coming into the NFL, he had a prospect grade of a 6.27. Jamin Davis had a prospect grade of a 6.35, okay? Production score, 71. Jamin Davis was an 81. When you talk about athleticism score, and I think Quay Walker is super athletic, and I think I thought he was going to flourish more and be more productive than what we've seen out of him so far under Jeff Halfley. And I'm hoping Jamin Davis can utilize that. He's super athletic as well. He had an athleticism score of a 94 and a total score of an 88. Quay Walker had a total score of a 78. So if you look at the scores coming out of college, Jamin Davis scored a little bit better for um, you know, then Quay Walker. So I want you guys to leave your comments and let me know what you guys think about Jamin Davis. I think this guy again could score super, super, I mean, could pr be productive for the Green Bay Packers. So what was his overview coming into the NFL? It says right here, um, inside linebacker prospect with excellent blend and of size length and pursuit talent. Davis played with his pads squared to the line of scrimmage operating with quick lateral scrapes and a nose for finding the ball. Isn't that exactly what Jeff Halfley said? He was looking for players to match that, that type of style of play. So it says right here, it goes on to say he can cover big tight ends. He can also, uh, he also plays with anticipation and an above average catching uh catch radius to make quarterbacks pay for taking him lightly in a zone. Davis could use some more seasoning, which again, we talk about him coming into the green Bay Packers under the defensive uh, coordinator there, Jeff Halfley and the, and the coaches there. I think this guy could potentially new change of scenery for Jamin Davis. He could see some success and could get some playing time, become active at some point this season. I really like the signing. Leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts on this signing. And as always, go Pack Go.